I have shrimp cocktail sauce on my shirt and my butt and my leg. We are here in the heart of Jackson Heights on 73rd Street. We only have 50 bucks. We're gonna try to eat as many different foods as possible today. We're trying to get you a little bit of variety in Jackson Heights, especially given the variety of cuisines here. So we're gonna order the best of the menu. Welcome to Budget Eats in the Wild. I feel like there's a cab and some trash and some melons. Oh yeah. So it's on brand. This is, this is Queens, baby. Welcome. So the first place that we're gonna visit today is Roger's Sweets and Fast Food. It is on the corner of 37th Avenue and 73rd Street. My first time coming here was with Yao from 50 Hertz and Ethan from Burlap and Barrel, and we had an amazing chat and just a lot of amazing chots, which are snacks. So I'm pretty excited to show you one of my favorite items. <laughs> okay, never mind. We cannot eat here right now because the food is not ready even though they are open. So we're gonna go to our second place, spend this, then come back. Let's go. Welcome to Queens. You gotta go with the flow here, you know? Where are we going to next? The Porta Potty. Great. <laughs> Our next place will be Nepali Banchagar. It is amazing Himalayan food, and I'm really excited for two items there. There is a fried rice donut, and there are also momos that are steeped in a little tiny spiced broth. Let's see if they have those ready. We're pretty early, so who knows? This is my favorite grocery store in Jackson Heights. There's been a lot of questions about where I go shopping for Budget Eats. This is definitely one of them. It has all the spices you want, excellent prices on nuts and dried fruit, and lots of snacks that you won't find anywhere else. So if you're in the neighborhood, check out Patel Brothers. So I can't remember the name for this space, but I believe it might be something like Peace Plaza. I'm probably wrong. Drop me in the comments down below if you know what it's actually called. But on this intersection is one of my favorite restaurants in the city, I would say maybe my favorite restaurant, it's called Payul. And if you've seen Trying My Partner's Diet for a Week video, you know that we ate there and we had some delicious stuff. Chelsea, have you ever had jalebi before? No. It's basically a funnel cake that's soaked in syrup until it's sticky and chewy and it's absolutely delicious. Is that what we're gonna get at the end just for me? Uh, I don't think we can afford that on this. <gasps> oh no. I'm sorry, next time. Welcome to Roosevelt Avenue, possibly the noisiest block in this part of Queens to walk along with your friends. If you want to have a conversation, do not walk along Roosevelt Avenue. Subway is loud. Yes, it's, it's the subway, but not sub. So it is the way. So what I love about Jackson Heights is you have jewelry stores next to facial hair removal salons next to Banks and Dunkin' Donuts, and then some of the most delicious food you'll ever have in your life. What was that, dude? Some of the most delicious food you'll have in your life? Sorry, I can't hear you over the sun. Okay. two items, the cell roti and the Joe Momo. When I used to work in restaurants, they always told us don't wear any fragrance, and that is a good rule of thumb if you're serving food, but this smells amazing. It just gets you into the mood <laughs> to eat. Leanna, you're good. <laughs> Chelsea, it's like you and I are on a date. Julia's gonna be sad. Julia's right there. This is true. <laughs> I think I'm gonna order two things. Okay, all right. I would love the cell roti. Okay. And then the Joe Momo. Goat. Let's yeah. go with goat. Thank you so much. Cell roti, Chelsea. And this is only a buck fifty. It's basically like a rice donut. And the first time I had it, it was mind blowing. It's basically grains of rice squeezed together into a large donut shape and then fried. So you get textures of the rice grains within that donut. I don't think there's sugar in here, but the rice itself is so sweet combined with the oils that's just seeping through it. Like, look at my fingers. You can taste it. We're gonna go for a dip. You ready? Are you having a moment? <laughs> what is this taste? It's like Mexican tomato-based salsa with some sort of like, 
chili oil fragrance a little hit of msg potentially in there i'm not sure you have to try it there's some cilantro in here do you like cilantro i love cilantro i'm gonna try to feed the sauce right in your bite <gasps> Oh, it's dripping. It's gonna drip okay. on you. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, my camera work. Is that, oh. Isn't that delightful, the flavor? Yum. It's so fresh. It's so sweet, but spicy, but savory, crunchy, fatty, carby. Oh, I love the chew. So I'll to you, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready to eat a quarter cup of oil for your mm -hmm. breakfast and enjoy it. Okay, we're gonna talk about the prices. The Joe Momo will be 10 bucks, I think, based on this menu. And the Cell Roti is $1.50. So that brings us to $11.50. We're gonna tip, we're gonna eat up some tax. Hopefully we'll come under 16 bucks at this place. So there's this thing that happens every year in Jackson Heights called the Momo Crawl. It's where all of these restaurants that make Momos basically come together and let you sample one Momo at each place. I've never actually been on them, my friends have. They they have raved about it. Nepali Banchagar has been the Momo Crawl winner for four years. That must mean they have really good Momos. Thank you so much. Yum. Nine dumplings came into this bowl, which means we're clocking in at about $1.1 per dumpling. A Momo is essentially a dumpling. It's shaped more like a steamed bun, but it tastes more like a dumpling to me. The wrapper tends to be anywhere from a thin dumpling wrapper like you see here, or at Payul, they're a little bit thicker. This is pretty steaming hot, so when you're eating, please blow on it and just go gently into the night. <laughs> it's a little bit like a soup dumpling, so you kind of have to do like a little bite slurp action. The wrapper is super delicate. It's also brightly colored green, which I'm loving this color scheme happening. The creamy orange soup against the green dumplings. You got a little bit of like red onions, which look purple in the filling. You can taste the gaminess of the goat, a little bit of texture and tendony textures on that meat. I wanna talk about the broth. It is creamy, but light. It is very smooth, a little bit rich, but not overwhelmingly so. And there's the lightest hint of chili spiciness in it. It's almost like the sauce is the broth, is the condiment. So you're almost welcome to drink as much of that saltiness and deliciousness as you want with every bite. I would say that my favorite part is the soup itself. It's edging on curry and you have cilantro in there that's really freshening up all of those mix of spices. Words can only go so far, y'all. We still have more places to eat, so I can't finish it all right now, but I did bring containers because I know y'all are gonna ask, where's the leftovers going? It's going home with me, obviously. This is my backpack from middle school. Pro tip, if you're using a pint container and you have liquid inside and you've ever had it explode on you, you must burp it, which just means lifting the lid a little bit and letting the hot air out so that it's not going to explode with the hot air expansion. All right, check is here, are we ready? Ta-da. 11.50, shall we do some? Do, you, do we think this is tax included? 11.50 times 1.2 is 13.8. So let's leave $14. We must say goodbye to our beloved daddy, Grant, right now. He's been very good to us, but you know, food over bros. I like that you're putting it in a plastic bag just in case. Just in case, you can never be too safe. You wanna see how much money we have left? We have 20, 35, 38, 50. So we're gonna leave 250. Yeah. Yeah. So we have 36 bucks going into our next place and we're gonna go eat more tacos. There is no shortage of Mexican food, Latin American food in Jackson Heights, but this place has the ambiance, it has the friendly service, it has the great food, carne asada in particular, and I just, I can't turn down free food and when they give you chips, you know, like, I'm gonna go for the free chips. We just did a walking shot, so the cameras will soon follow. Welcome to Taqueria Coazingo. Aaron and I first came upon this place when we were jet lagged after a long trip to Europe 
5,000 years ago, and it was the only thing that made me feel better about being back from vacation was being served a huge platter of carne asada. And the free chips, I keep saying the free chips, but it's true, chips make my life better. Can we acknowledge the fact that in the last place and here, we hear the subway? Yeah, like, you're like on this... Roosevelt Avenue. Yeah. This is the soundtrack of Roosevelt Avenue. <laughs> are the chips coming? Yes. <gasps> Hello. How are you? Good. I love chips. You Thank love you. chips? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so you're much. Welcome. These are fresh chips. They're thin. They're crispy. They're not too oily. They're also trapezoidy which cheers. They also come with fresh salsa. I make it a game to see how much salsa I can get on the chip. You can taste the corn. You can taste it marrying into the oil. It's not greasy, it's flavorful. You can see the specks. It's just all natural, baby. The carne asada, okay. the vegetariano, okay. and the oreja. Do you want everything on it? Spicy, onion, cilantro? Everything. Everything? Okay. We're doing the first item, the carne asada. It is my favorite carne asada I've ever eaten. There is just something about the fire, the smoke, the drama that goes into the beef. It's just imbued with meaning. Anyway, the second one is vegetariano. It's the cheapest option along this list, but I've also been told that it is quite delicious. So I'm very curious. I've never had a vegetariano taco. The third one is going to be oreja. It is pork ear or pig ear. Pig ear is one of those foods that I grew up with in the Chinese cuisine. It's often stewed and braised until it's very soft. You still have that tender tendon in the middle that's kind of crunchy. It's sliced really thin. I love seeking out pork ear in other cultures. I find that they're all prepared in different ways, but there's always that textural intrigue that you can't find anywhere else. There goes the seven train again. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you ever get those tacos where it's just like a baby's fist of fillings inside? <laughs> and you're a full-grown woman and you can't subsist on that, but you can subsist on this. I see avocado, I see the carne asada, I see onions and cilantro, a lot of guac, some salsa in there, and uh, I think we should squeeze a little lime juice, yeah? Yeah. Wait, are you supposed to eat a taco sideways? I've been uh, told. You have to like lean your head into it. The meat is tender, tender, good bite, bouncy, but not tough. It is really just the perfect steak chopped up into baby bite-sized pieces. And then it plays so well together with the other chopped ingredients. Nothing is falling out when you take that bite. It's remaining a clear bite. That's impressive. That's engineering, you know? For me, the tortilla is the most important part of a taco. For example, I feel like sushi, the most important thing is not the fish, but the rice. Rice in sushi is to tortilla in tacos. And I like this one a lot. I just want to draw attention to how golden the tortillas are toasted. Normally, I just have like a naked, cold, sad, slappy tortilla, but this one is actually toasted which gives you a lot of good textures. It traps the moisture inside the tortilla and then the outside is slightly crispy and dehydrated. So you get a nice little tug when you take your bite. This is the oreja taco. This is the year. So you can see the white cartilage running through, flanked on both sides with collagen and slight fatty bits. This is potentially my favorite cut on the pig. It's a piece that Americans in North America don't really eat that much. Let's give it a try, shall we? That is a perfectly cooked ear. It is so tender. Let's go in for surgery, shall we? Here's a piece with a lot of unctuousness to it. You can see that almost pudding texture to it. A lot of gelatin. This is very good for your skin, according to East Asian culinary beliefs. The more you eat skin, the better it is for your own skin. It's bouncy, but it's also tender. It's a little bit like the best parts of pork belly. There's no other food that really comes close to this texture. It's just so pleasing. So if you like crunchy, crunchy things, pig ear.
try it today. Should I go for this, or will it kill me? I don't think it'll kill you. Can you handle your spice gin? We'll see. Oh. <laughs> I just swallowed it whole because it was only gonna get worse. That was a mistake. I'm IT. <clears throat> Why did you let me do that, Chelsea? <laughs> if I don't feel the pain, it's not there. <sighs> intermission. There will now be a short intermission. Okay, vegetariano. We have saved potentially the best for last. We don't know, I've never had it. I'm trying new things with y'all. Because what is life if not for adventures of the unknown? This one comes with Sour cream? Crema? I'm not sure. I still can't feel my mouth, which might not be good for the rest of the episode, but I will do my best. Mm. It is putting out the fire. It is super creamy. The rice is super sweet and mild. The tomato is adding freshness. Is that little bits of cheese? Oh yeah. I think what this needs is a little bit of salsa. And now it's really gonna slide everywhere. If you're a vegetarian, this is the go-to move. Add some salsa on top, and if you're a real maverick, by which I mean you will get canceled if you do this, you crush some chips on top. Then you have tortillas on top and tortillas on bottom. And it's like, what better place is there to be than between two different types of tortilla? All right, bye, June. Bye, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just leave you here. Ooh, candy. Yeah. Thank you so much. You. Amazing. Thank I'm going to so keep. Much. Are you gonna yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. I love places that give you candy with your check because who doesn't want something sweet? So here's the bill. 1150 of food, 102 with tax. Okay, let's explain this receipt a little bit. Rule 1 of coming to eat in Queens, always bring cash. Why? A lot of places don't take card, and some places give you a discount if you pay in cash. This is a little bit like when you go to a gas station and you pay a cash price or a credit card price. You wanna pay the cash price. Thank you. Now we have, going into the next place, $20.45. We're gonna fit it in there. Don't worry, it's all going in. Are you ready for more food? Yeah. Great, we're gonna have some shrimp cocktail in the back of a smoke shop. What? <laughs> the place, which I have a hard time pronouncing, is La Esquina del Camarón Mexicano, or Mexicano. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm very gringo. But anyway, so we've been traveling down Roosevelt Avenue. We're just passing 77th Street now. I believe this place is like two or three blocks down. Its address is 80-02 Roosevelt Avenue. It is in the back of a smoke shop, so if you don't know, it might be a little hard to find. Follow me, sheep. This one has food. That one, to my knowledge, does not. This one is the one that you want to come to for food. It's kind of busy in there, so there's a cool little window that we can order right outside here. I think this will be a better idea. Do you think I should get the shrimp or the octopus or the mix? Mix? There's a mix. What are you more excited about? I love the shrimp, but I feel like we owe it to the audience to try a mix. Hi, do you recommend the shrimp cocktail or the mixto cocktail? Mixed. Okay, mixed. Thank you. They recommended the mixed, so we're gonna go with the mixto. So they do have more than just the shrimp cocktail. They also have tacos and platters, but I just come here for the shrimp cocktail because look at this baby. Is this for me? Yeah. Okay, gracias. Is this for me too? Yeah. Oh, gracias. Thank you so much. Okay. I guess we got these. I didn't get these the first time I came years ago, but you get a freebie tozada. So that was 1307, I believe, and I just gave them a 15. Can you hear that? Super brittle, super snappy, very hearty. It's almost like a dried digestive made out of corn. I don't even think I want this anymore, I just want the chip. You really like chips? Mm-hmm. 
Fun, isn't it? <laughs> I want us to appreciate all the little glisteny globules of oil floating on top of this tart, fresh tomato juice, swimming with seafood. My favorite thing possibly is the amount of avocado they give. I feel like three years ago they gave you a little more, but I will make do with this. The avocado is a delightful addition to this because you have the acidity of that tomato base. You have the kind of seafood umami of the shrimp and the octopus, and the creaminess from the avocado pairs really well with the crunchy, spicy freshness of the onions. It's just a perfect bite. You ready for it? I want you to try a bite. Right now? I brought you a spork. My purple spork. No episode of Budget Eats is complete without the purple spork. I'm honored. You inherit the tradition of Budget Eats. It's sweet, it's salty, it's got a little bit of viscosity to it. What do you think? Oh, it's really good. It's really good. Look at how it's standing on the spoon. It's like I am a statue worthy of admiration and respect. And the greatest form of respect is consumption. And also for the price of 13 bucks and change, you're getting like a pound of seafood in here, which honestly, if you were to buy a pound of seafood, it might cost that much. So one thing to note is that this cocktail comes in four different sizes. We went for the smallest one, which is already a pretty good portion. If you're one person and hungry, I think this will do for a meal even. If you wanna share with a friend or your lover, like I am with Chelsea, <laughs> opt for a bigger size maybe. The choice is yours. Okay, so we have $5.45 left. We're gonna try to use this at the first place we tried to go to as our last place. Hello, Chelsea. We are back at Raja's Sweets, where we started. We gotta love a full circle these days, you know? Let's hope they have food now. Okay, it's pretty packed in there. I don't know if you can see, but it's basically height of lunchtime. We're gonna order, and we're gonna come outside to eat. Oh. Whichever one is a dollar. I don't want to... Okay, give me one dollar. Okay. Hello. I got two things with our remaining monies. So this is the samosa chot. It has one big samosa enveloped in basically a curry of sorts topped with a lot of little things like crunchy noodles, tart tangy sauce, a little bit of yogurt, and raw onions. And this one is a dessert that I managed to snag with our change of a dollar and ten. I think it's usually two dollars, but she was very nice about it. I was like, I really want to spend this money. What can I get for a dollar? And she was like, I will give you this for a dollar. And we are thankful for the generosity of strangers. What spilled? Oh, it's the cocktail. The cocktail spilled. That just means that we have soggy chips to eat with flavorful sauce underneath later, right? Do we have napkins, I'm Mom? Thanks, Mom. I'm very sad, but I'll still eat it. We're good, right? Yay! I have shrimp cocktail sauce on my shirt and my butt and my leg. It's fine, I'm a shrimp cocktail now. Things can be worse. Are we ready to eat this though? This looks amazing. Do you think I can fit this whole thing in my mouth in one bite? You can do it. If Chelsea tells you to do it, you should probably not do it. <laughs> you did great. What are you talking about? Mmm. The chickpeas are mildly sweet. They're very creamy, super tender. You don't need teeth to eat it. You can just mash it with your tongue. It's topped with these crunchy little snacks, which are soaked through with this red sauce. That's kind of sweet. Ooh, there's a little bit of spice. Not too much. And then the real star of the show is this huge samosa that's just buried inside. That is too hefty to even lift with this plastic spoon that is struggling underneath the weight of it. This is giving it crunch on the outside from the fried exterior and more potato and vegetable filling on the inside. Yes, it's a chot, which means it's a snack, but this is a meal for me. And it's got a lot of delicious mush. So the one piece samosa chot is $3.99. If you get two pieces, it's $6.99. We went for the one piece because I'm already very full and we happened to get another dessert for a dollar. So we spent all of our 50 bucks today with tax and tip. So we're gonna finish with this burfi. 
which are a series of desserts that are made with condensed milk or milk powder. Um, they're all variations. It looks like this one has a silver leaf on top along with some slivered almonds. When I asked her which one I should get, she said this one is really delicious, so I followed her advice. Mm. This is essentially fudge, but with dried milk. It has a sort of grainy chalkiness to it in terms of texture. The flavor is super milky, dairy-based, a little bit caramelized, kind of like dulce de leche. And the texture is a little bit chewy. And you get a nice little crunch from the almonds on top as well. So a really nice way to finish off our day, I think. So we got the samosa cha and the dessert because we only had five and change. But obviously, you can see the menu is extensive here. I've had several items here before. They're all delicious. So I really want you to come and just check it out. Bring a few friends, share a little bit of everything. That's honestly the best way to eat here in Jackson Heights. It's, I think it's about to storm, Chelsea. I think we should get out of here. It's like the sun before the darkness. Yes, okay, bye. We came with $50 for the day. We spent all $50. I think we ate a lot of great food. Let us know in the comments down below what places you would have gone with these $50 in Jackson Heights, Queens. And until next time, tell me which neighborhood you want me to hit up next. I'm just, I'm also gonna try to bring my, what remains of my leftovers home now, I guess. We're good. Bye, thanks for coming along. See you next time. <laughs> if I eat, my camera woman eats. I appreciate that. <laughs> I think You're we're lost. You. We might be lost. It's called Diversity Plaza, it says right there. Let's go. Did I eat paper? Maybe. I think I did. It tastes fantastic in there. It's swaddled like a baby, and it's warm like a baby. And this is the closest thing to a mother I'll ever be. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that's really hot on my hands. I'm having so much fun already, are you? You're dragging me everywhere. Yes, welcome. This is your job, isn't it?